I think the on this chart we deal with a flat my friends um an extended flat pattern um so the overall wave count is still valid that we deal with here and the overall assumption is still that eventually we should move higher in a third wave rally um let me just move those waves across but before the third wave is starting current interpretation suggests that we will see one more dip ideally into the yellow support zone here between $17.78 and $20 that would be the current interpretation we're going to take a look at that now but first of all let me hide here this previous resistance area we don't need that anymore on the chart it just takes too much space on the chart and the other levels are still relevant to be honest but I'm going to take out the orange one now as well as you can see this was a successful trend reversal area that was defined here on the chart as an area in which price would ideally find support and then reverse out of it this worked out and we're now approaching resistance so no I didn't want to take out the resistance level because that is still relevant but the support so again we deal with the flats in my opinion so we are looking at the structure where we rallied inner wave 1 here to the top of the 21st of March or 20th of March then a wave W a wave X and a Y wave to the downside and the Y wave can go all the way down to 1778 doesn't need to go down that low but the point is the 1778 level for me is the pivot between possibly new bear market laws and the rally to $40 plus a minute why wait we have three waves ABC and as announced earlier in the week I was expecting a B wave to the upside which is happening at the moment this B wave to the upside plays out as follows ABC we could now be in the C wave at the larger B wave resistance for B or let's say standard resistance is between 2340 and 2490. Um, B waves are extremely difficult to so what I can of course not rule out is that this becomes an overshooting B wave but ideally it shouldn't do okay if I'm looking at the length of the C wave yes yeah, so because we can measure we can compare waves A and wave C here in the subwave structure and an ideal target for a C wave would be the 1.618 extension at around about $24 here 2410 it's calling out so this is certainly a level to watch if we get above the 24.90 will be next resistance very short term the trend is up and I have no indica or no signal here that the C wave which is the C wave of larger degree wave B is finished okay no indication yet but I think if we break below the A wave high which would be the previous swing low here that was made on well Sunday actually overnight if we break below that yeah 2296 level that would be a first indication that the C wave has topped and that we will follow through in this higher degree Celsius wave of Y of 2 to the downside and it's Certainly worth observing that so it's interesting to see that while for example Bitcoin Ethereum are working on a triangle in this B wave Solana creates a high B wave and yeah this is currently standard Fibonacci resistance for a B I had the question is it possible that Solana also rallies and breaks out directly in the third wave it is possible surely everything is possible in markets but is it likely in my opinion only if Bitcoin Ethereum are readying as well which they can do as well and it would be good if they do it would be good for many of the altcoins but the structure currently doesn't really call it out this primary scenario okay um, but yeah if we get a sustained break above 24.87 n it's worth watching the x wave high at 26.10 pretty much or 26 dollars and then key resistance here which is the yeah which is dealing with the highs that were made in january you know and here february around 2682 i think if we break above 2682 it's go time in a third wave but until then i would be expecting another low here in a C wave overall this is not a bearish setup this is quite a bullish setup at the moment it's just the time we need to wait for the breakout signal yeah it reacted to the support area already ideally it's going to go into the yellow one before really rallying but I'm overall for me the trend for Solana is still up alright that's my update about Solana hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye thank you